Okay. Just a little video from uh, the Triple I 4S. I uh, just want to show how we have made this uh, improvised prototype of our greenhouse here. Um, what you can see here is um, the wall of the greenhouse, which consists of these. I'll try and get a little closer there. You can see this uh, PVC piping, I think it's a half inch. And uh, basically, um, it consists of a number of, of uh, cut uh, pieces of about uh, one meter each, or a little over three feet, and uh, some joints. You see these uh, T joints uh, right here. And um, we would have liked to have the cross section, the one that has instead of three, to have uh, four, because that means you can get away with less uh, cuttings to get more stability but unfortunately it's very difficult to get hold of those here in Indonesia uh, if anybody want to send a shipment of those then to us then we'll be very grateful uh, alright so basically what we have done is we have taken these um, these uh, pipings and uh, because we are now uh, on a surface of, on a cement surface or concrete surface we can't really stick them in the ground, but if you are in a garden uh, with uh, soil as uh, your surface, then what you can do is you can take this uh, piping, and uh, so that means you will be cutting, the first piece will be cut in uh, about um, maybe uh, one and a half to two meter, and then you basically uh, put the uh, uh, one third or half of the piping into the ground, you just hammer it into the ground, so you have like an anchor effect and then uh, from there you basically take the um, the piping and connect uh, first uh, the first uh, piece here and we go up here as you can see it's bending here and then we have another piece and then we go around another piece and another piece and another piece and here we go down to the other side so it's basically uh, U-shaped. It's uh, like a like a tunnel, right? And uh, hmm, uh, as you can see, because we don't have these uh, these cross section, we only have the T, not the complete crosses. What we have to do is we have to basically um, alternate between the sides. So that means here you see it goes to the right side, here it goes to the left side, and here it goes to the right side and the left side, and so on. So this is how we have, you know, improvised to, to create some kind of stability. Um, what we have here as a, a wall of the greenhouse is a plastic sheet, which they use for for construction. It's construction grade plastic, and uh, it's pretty good. We had a storm that actually uh, it actually pulled out a couple of trees with roots and killed a couple of people. But the greenhouse, although it was shaking quite a bit it was still standing afterwards and what i have done is here i basically just uh, use some nails to uh, to anchor it to these grow beds that we have created um just for you to have a, to enjoy our little grow bed here what do we have here we got some a bunch of tomato plants we got some uh, marigold which is very good to um, reduce the nematodes and uh, we are experimenting with different things to see what, how much they can handle and so on. So we even put some, uh, some corn in our grow bed, although the grow bed's uh, soil is only about uh, seven, eight inches of soil or 15 to 18 centimeter of soil. Uh, we got some bayam, some spinach, we got a couple of strawberries over here. We got some uh, cucumbers, as you can see there some uh, chili peppers uh, this grow bed is not complete done yet so we are still uh, experimenting over here we've got more we got some uh, rosemary uh, some different kinds of cabbage that's peeking out here and uh, oh we got some mint over there and then we have another section over here uh, with some um, some citrus fruit some uh, lime some uh, citron and some uh, orange plants and of course we got the aloe vera in the back there 
Uh, this is basically uh, what you see when you look around here is basically uh, an old drying place where the previous uh, tenant of this house used to dry their clothes and we have utilized it for, for growing plants. Um, we have a couple of problems here. One of the problems being that when there's a heavy rain, uh, the runoff water from the, from the roof here basically floods this place and because of that and to reduce the amount of uh, soil that is being uh, that is leaking from the grow beds we are putting these uh, rice bags under the soil and it's uh, it's not too much soil that actually get lost and uh, because we uh, keep uh, putting the kitchen wastes uh, adding that kitchen compost waste to the soil it actually keeps the, the amount of soil pretty constant all right, I think that's about it. Um, as you can see, it's, it's quite improvised. We are using these uh, this clamps to keep the plastic. Now, now, this is a temporary location, which is why we don't, we don't go through the details so much. If it was a temporary uh, place, we would probably find a way to seal the plastics together so we can get more control of, of the environment here. But it works pretty well and uh, we have been using this for about a year and um, I think this is our third harvest uh, we had uh, two previous tomato harvests. we had a, a whole bunch of uh, produce from last year and this family that lives in this house we cover probably around 35 percent of their vegetable needs uh, we have a little uh, spot downstairs in the front yard as well where we have a uh, hibiscus and so on maybe i'll make another video of that um, another time so uh, that's about it so i hope you enjoyed our little uh, greenhouse uh, oh by the way make sure that when you when you pull these joints together that you use some pvc glue that's specially made for these pipes because otherwise the tension and the uh, the shaking of the winds of the t of the plastic will basically pull it apart, and suddenly you have the whole thing lying all over the place. So uh, I think that's about it. If anybody have any questions, please uh, you can just uh, send to my inbox in our fan page, and I, probably you already know where that is. So that's about it. Have <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>